Good morning, folks. It's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. We're about to start one of the biggest jobs we've ever done. We got the ladder up, just pulled in. We are in an undisclosed location, as always, somewhere in Tennessee this time. And got a bunch of snapping rack, new, some of the new UR40 snapping rack rail teed up. These are 168 inches. And I'll show you the profile. There's that new rail profile right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is the new UR40 Ultra Rail. Same channel, mostly the same, but it uh, doesn't have two channels in it anymore. It only comes in 168 inch lengths. There's also a UR60 for larger wind loads. Here's that clamp we're gonna be using, which I know you're like, oh my goodness, how does that go around? How does that go around it? But it just snaps right onto the bottom. It's pretty, pretty cool. And it's on there. It's very simple. There's the crew, Big Boss, Antonio. Oh, don't scrape the pallet. I need that for my woodshed. Getting the first group of panels out. And as always on any roof job, the proper ingredients. Here's a toolbox full of cougar paws. So this is the roof kit. This is where to keep all our roof stuff. And I just found that one of these uh, husky boxes is a great way to stay organized. We've got our ropes, carabiners, our fall protection. Um, yeah, we don't mess around with those junkie harnesses either. I'll show you the harness later. And uh, we are just getting teed up to get on this roof. Teed up. So there's a lot of this going on on this roof where the the uh, <laughs> screws are popping up. You gotta yeah, let them down. Shoes, Make sure you tighten them down a little bit. So we're laying out this roof. And um, there's a lot of different things you can use to mark on a roof. Crayons. I like a soapstone permanent marker. Graphite pencil. There's a little soapstone. Looks really good there. And this is a 5V10 roof with exposed fasteners. We're going through. If you want your cougar pods to work really good, you do have to clean the dust off the roof, which might take 30, 45 minutes, but it's worth it for the added traction. In here, Antonio. There he is. Antonio. Antonio, how are those cougar paws working out for you, amigo? What? How do you like them cougar paws? Are they grabbing? Antonio's running the newest pair of cougars. I'm running some old schools. And these are the magnetic roofing shoes. And they work great. So we got a pretty serious lunch situation going on here. We've got some dischiata, and then we got some brats. Looks like we got Italian sauce involved. Got some coffee going. The big boss is cooking. We're we're just camping out here. We're good. It's gonna be just. For How's your lunch going? Oh, lunch is going wonderful. Thank you for asking. <laughs> nope, like your, your coffee is about ready. Antonio, how's your lunch going? Good. Abran? Come in. Mine's over. So Scott is wearing his cougar paws on a construction site right now. I'm short on nails. Let me see him. Let me see him. Come on. You're good, boss. Here's Abraham. He's putting that roof tech in. He's giving it a knock. What it feels like when it hits decking. Yep. Sometimes you hit a rafter, sometimes you don't. But roof tech, it don't, don't matter. I need my roof tech hat. Antonio, what? como va tus bases? Oh, perfecto. Bueno. Scott thinks he can just wear his cougar paws all around the job. Are they comfortable? Is that why you're wearing them? I like them. They're comfortable. Thank you, cougar paws for my cougar paws. Go, cougar paws. So Scott's still wearing his cougar paws. You get them broke in yet? Yeah, they're nice and broke in, boss. They're very comfy. <laughs> so we are getting real close to the end of the first day. And uh, this is an acro ladder support. I really like this thing. It keeps your ladder off the gutter. And it's pretty robust. The first time I saw it, I did not like it. But we use it, and it keeps the ladder from moving at all. Um, so... Getting towards the end of the first day. 
And I want to show you guys just how easy this new snapping rack stuff goes together. I used to really do some fidgeting. Dang it, I missed it. It's in. Maybe I can show them how easy a splice goes on. So what do you think of the new splicing, Abraham? Oh, I love them. Yeah, I was so I was like freaked out when I found it's out. It's just like it's it's just. You used to do a lot of fidgeting. A lot of fidgeting, and these just nestle in there, and, boom. and then and boom, boom, you're done. So the UR40 is the new rail, and I can show you a span chart what the UR40 is. It's the same as the old snapping rack, as far as the the um snap in fit of the channel the difference being you don't have that bottom channel anymore there used to be a bottom channel on there but it's it, it doesn't have as much span but it's just as good and it goes together a lot easier and look at this there it is right there watch this piece just pop right in it's gonna pop in like butter see that right You see? It's in. It's so quick. Good stuff. Antonio, ¿cómo estás? So there's going to be 42 panels. Three rows of 14. And uh, that is a laid out roof. The understructure of this roof is 7 16 OSB. The metal screwed directly to the 7 16 OSB. And then there's trusses on two foot centers. So. For example, if you hit a truss, you can just hit that screw and the other screw. If you don't hit a truss, you've got to do all, you got to do five screws. So it's a cool foot. And then of course we're caulking it with some, with some uh, JTS, JTS1 Mule High product.